Hey guys, it's Destiny Lachey. Today I'm just coming to you guys with another fall makeup tutorial. This is a talk through tutorial. So get your popcorn, your chips, your cookies, you know, something. The tutorial is about 30 minutes long. So I hope you guys enjoy it. If you guys like this, please comment down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. So I already applied my Smashbox photo finishing primer all over my face and this is used to fill in my pores and you know it helps my makeup stay on all day and it just i don't know it just makes my makeup glide on so smooth you don't have to use a primer but i prefer to use a primer and this is my all-time favorite so i'm going to do my eyebrows off camera i do have a eyebrow tutorial i will link that down below in the description box and i will be right back Okay, so I did my brows and I used my Anastasia dip brow. I probably should have did my brows after I put on my foundation, but so next I'm gonna color correct. I always do this. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna use this little burnt orange color right here in my MAC Conceal palette. And I'm gonna take a little brush. I'm gonna use the Real Techniques Base Shadow Brush because it has like um, a stipply end. And I'm just gonna kind of dip that in there and just get right in the areas the darker areas oh, I'm gonna have to redo my eyebrows because I have a dark mark in my eyebrow I color corrected I am going to go in with my foundation you guys know I love this foundation this is the black opal hazelnut foundation and I've gone through two of these babies already this is a full cover cream foundation which I love so I'm gonna go in with this and I'm gonna use my damp beauty blender to apply it um, I'm just gonna apply it directly to the applicator thing the stick and just pound it into my face this step does take a while I'm gonna speed this part up so that you guys don't have to hear me talk about nothing so you just want to take it and pounce it into your face you definitely have to make sure your beauty blender is damp because this step will not work and it will not apply flawlessly some Nivea lip butter to my lips to moisturize them for my lipstick later on <laughs> my lips look so ashy on camera oh my god so now I'm gonna set my face with my black opal finishing powder I'm gonna use the deluxe finishing powder in the color dark and this is just going to set in my foundation so that it doesn't move all day.
and I'm just going to use a my MAC fluffy powder brush. So I'm using the MAC 159? I don't know, the numbers are off, but it's a MAC powder blush, brush. So now I'm just going to fix my brows a little bit because I got lost in the, you know, mix of everything. So now I'm just going to take some concealer. I'm going to take my same MAC Correcting Conceal Palette and I'm going to take the color in NW43 and I'm going to conceal underneath my brows. And before I do that, I am going to spray my brush with some L'Oreal Infallible Spray. It just makes it easier to sculpt my brows out. And this is a MAC 195 brush. I love this brush for doing my brows. brush I'm gonna take the morphe 511 brush and just blend everything out so I'm gonna take soft ochre paint pot I'm gonna apply that with my stippling brush that I got off amazon.com I'll put the link down below to everything and I'm just gonna apply that all over my lid So now that I applied soft ochre, okay so now I'm going to take the color saddle and I'm going to take my Morphe 513 brush. This is like a fluffy blending brush and I'm going to put this in as my transition color right underneath my highlight on my brow bone. I'm just curious, what are you guys' favorite transition colors? Like, um, doesn't matter what skin tone you are, just let me know because I'm looking for a new transition color. Because I always use MAC Saddle and I've always used it. I'm just looking for something different. I'm sorry if you can't hear me because my fan's on and it's so hot. So yeah, so there's my transition color. So now I'm going to take that same brush and I am going to apply Red Brick by MAC. I'm going to put that literally right underneath that color. So I'm just going to take a little bit of a corner of something and I'm just going to apply it right underneath saddle. I'm blending that right underneath that color. So I'm also going to take, just because it's not warm enough for me, it's more orangey, I'm going to take Brown Script by MAC on that same brush. I'm going to put it right where that orange color is. That's better. Brown Script is the color. Make sure it's 
blended. So I'm just going to take my Morphe 511 brush, the same brush that I used to apply saddle, and I'm just going to blend that color out, blend those colors together. So I'm going to take the color Central Park by Colourpop. These, if you guys have not heard about these, you've seriously been living under a rock because these are super, super pigmented. Um, they're a little tricky to apply, but once you get the hang of it, you get the hang of it. But these are amazing. This color is Central Park. It looks so good on the skin. Oh my goodness. These are $5. I'll put the link down to Colourpop down below. They're not paying me to say this. Um... Their shadows are really amazing. So this is the color Central Perk. And I'm just literally going to apply this. Um, I don't know where I'm going to apply this yet. Let's see. So I'm just going to take my Morphe 511 brush. And this is like a small blending brush. It is like a creamy formula. So... A little odd for an eyeshadow but I'm just gonna go right underneath that orange color oh my god look how beautiful that is look how nice that applies look at that guys and I'm just gonna kind of fade that into mm -hmm. Gorgeous guys, gorgeous. They're only five dollars, like five dollars. Gorgeous. Ugh, and it blends so smoothly. Like look at this. So I'm gonna take a MAC 217 brush. It has nothing on it, but I'm just gonna blend the crease right here. it's a little stipply I'm just gonna go back in and fix do some touch-ups and I think I'm gonna go with like a goldy color on the lid I'm going to take max amber light okay and I'm going to spray some, um, this is actually the L'Oreal Infallible Spray. I'm going to spray some of that onto a MAC 239 brush. You don't have to use these same exact brushes that I'm mentioning in this video. You can use any brush. Um, basically, this is just a flat eyeshadow brush. So don't feel as though you need to use the same exact products. Yeah, I just wanted to put that out there as a disclaimer. So I'm using Amber Lights. You don't even have to use the same products. It's just the fact of applying the products properly or correctly. So I'm just going to apply that all over my lid. Well, not all over, but I'm going to apply leave the outer part of my eye exposed and bring it into the inner part. One of my eyes is a different shape than the other one. Like the lid overlaps differently. Um, I mean, no one's perfect. So don't feel as though yours needs to be perfect because I'm not perfect. As you can see, this one, this lid is a lot different than this one. Like the creasage is different. So there's that. And I'm going to take my MAC 217 blending brush again and just kind of blend that gold into the bronzy color 
just so that the harsh line is gone. And I'm just going to go back in with that central perk and blend everything out. You definitely want to make sure everything's blended. This is the key to this look for sure. So I'll take this unknown shadow that I got from this palette a while ago. It's um compared to Amber Lights, it's like a shimmy, a whiter, shimmier, I don't I can't talk. Compared to Amber Lights, this color is a white shimmer. So it's like a lighter white shimmer. So anything that you can find for this, I don't know. I have no absolutely no clue what color this is. So this little shimmery color doodad thingy right here. So I'm going to take a um, pencil brush. This is the Sigma E30 brush. I know I use a ton of brushes, but you need them to have a good application of your eyeshadow. So I'm just going to put that in the tear duct, even though it's probably going to get wiped away by my concealer. So. so keep that pencil brush on the side. You guys, I never do talk-throughs, and this is why, but if you guys like them, please let me know if you like them because, you know, I just want to know. So now I'm going to go in with my liner. I'm using this brow brush that I got from Christmas Tree Store. If you live in the New York area, you know what I'm talking about. The Christmas Tree Store, I got this little thin, thin, long angled brush from. And it's perfect for applying eyeliner. I'm going to spray my brush with some Fix Plus spray. And I'm going to go into my Black Track Fluid Line by MAC. Even though I don't like this as much, it's going to serve as my first color for my eyeliner. decided to go in and kind of deepen the crease area in my eye area so I'm gonna take the color straight trip it straight tripping by ColourPop it's like a let me see if I can swatch it it's like a really really dark purple and I'm gonna go in there with the pencil brush that I used earlier and I'm just gonna deepen my crease take my Sigma E55 brush it's a fluffy like um, shader brush take a little bit of that product just a little bit and I'm just gonna blend out the color and kind of diffuse it into the transition colors So today I am going to use a different concealer. I know, I know. If you guys know me, you know my channel. I use my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer all the time. Or I substitute and use my LA Pro Girl Concealer in the color Fawn. But today I'm going to use something different. So today I'm going to use the Basma Hamid Cosmetics. Um, this is their full coverage um, camouflage foundation. Um, they didn't really have my shade for foundation range, 
So um, they sent me this dark color. This is the darkest color they had. But I'm going to use this to kind of cover my dark circles. Um, um, they're not that bad today, but I'm going to use this to cover my dark circles, and I'm going to use this to also, I'm going to also use this to highlight. So I'm going to use this as my concealer today. So it's going to replace my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. This is my first time actually using this product. I swatched it on my hand. It looks gorgeous. It's like a creamy foundation. So people use this to cover up acne scarring, um, like scars that they have on their face, anywhere on their body. So I just wanted to try this out and, you know, see how it works. So I'm going to use it as my concealer today. Oop. So I'm going to take my damp beauty blender and pounce that into the product. And I'm just going to conceal underneath my eye. Ooh, it's really full coverage. Ooh, uh, I'm liking this. my banana powder my Ben Nye banana powder in the color banana of course and I'm gonna use my real techniques brush this is the contour brush and I'm just gonna pat some banana powder underneath my eye this just helps my concealer not to crease <laughs> I'm going to use my Anastasia contour kit. I'm just going to take the color Espresso and I'm going to contour. So now I'm just to kind of tone down my under eye area I'm going to take some of my MSF in dark or yeah dark and I'm going to pat that underneath I usually don't contour my nose but I'm going to contour my nose today I'm going to take this color here in the Anastasia, Anastasia contour kit and this is like a lighter brown color and I'm going to contour my nose I'm going to take my MAC blush in the color Raisin. Actually, I'm going to mix these two colors right here. Don't know what this other color is, but I'm just mixing it. Okay. Now, I'm going to take my Sonia Kashuk Highlight in Goddess, and I'm going to take my Morphe 511 brush, and I'm just going to put this on the highest points of my face. I'm going to take my Feline Liner and line my waterline. I'm going to take the color on that pencil brush, Central Park, and I'm going to go underneath my lash line with that. I'm going to use some infallible spray as well. I'm actually going to use Max Feline Lip Liner today, or eyeliner, as my liner. I'm 
So there we go. We have our lips basically filled in. Now I'm going to take Max Media and I'm going to put that on top. 